Yeah, guys, welcome back from, uh, 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 I've been traveling overnight because I, I need to cure my dysentery because I decided to drink parky water. Didn't drink any foul, like, uh, jar water. And it's daytime. So it's like... Daytime at 4 a.m. Yeah, that's farmer time. Yeah, yep. you, get, you get up at the ass crack of dawn. That's not a joke, either. No. I live near a few farms. No, like, yeah, like... Oh, damn it, the deer's corpse rotted away. Dang it. Oh, lovely. Yes, lovely. But yeah, I was... <laughs> I was way over here in this uh, in this town. Like uh, we were, you know, like uh, I figured, you know, it'd be a good idea to get some to get some supplies, especially since I have dysentery. I would like to not to not uh, suffer the uh, the stamina costs and everything. So I decided to run all the way back over here uh, overnight. I had a you know, I had a couple zombies chase me over uh, over that time, but eh, we I managed to make it through and. Uh, and Fangs has been uh, uh, holding himself up in uh, in a home, uh, fending off zombies, and he managed to snipe your deer overnight, but it rotted away. Well, good news, Fang, though I've made it back to our old base. I invested some points into sexual ty Tyrannosaurus. Oh, My stamina okay. should be able to regen enough to where I can actually move. Lovely. Why is there a floating block in- nope, nope. It- it just didn't load in what was holding you up. I think Let on- go. I think on this version you can actually have, like, floating drawbridges. I've made an entire building that I was trying to collapse float. It was not fun. Oh yeah, that that's an old term like for uh, that's something like uh, I remember players like back in the day calling uh, because like how janky it was like you because know, it's for performance reasons on a uh, to uh, like uh, help the game not not crap itself. Uh. Oh dang! I one shotted a pig by shooting it in the face. Awesome. As I was saying, it's like uh, even on PC, like you keep the. Uh, Performance, you know, keep the game from crapping itself. Uh, they they kind of use what players dubbed as uh, POI glue. I remember seeing old videos of it. Uh, hey, level uh, level twenty, and I have thirty skill points to spend. Nice. Try and get steel smithing eventually. You have the higher tool smithing, and I have the higher weapon smithing. Oh, I complete. I completely forgot to hit the wrench for the last couple hits of uh, the forge at our old base. Uh, it's okay. Meaning? I. What? Meaning, it gone. Yeah, it's gone. But while we were going over to the new town, uh, and guys, uh, actually found a uh, a forge house. Uh, so we're not completely uh, screwed out of a forge. So that's a good thing. Um, making some. Let's see. I need to cook up some, uh, some uh, goldenrod tea. I need a cooking pot. Did you still have stuff left in the uh, in your chest? Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. I was like, ooh, that's gonna be a little interesting because I'm like, all your chests, almost all your chests are locked. Only one of them has something in it. Actually, no, two. One of them just has 5,000 some stone. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll finally be able to cure my dysentery. <laughs> I'm grabbing the... I'm gonna grab the, uh... The, whatchamacallit, the... Uh corn and potato just so we can start a farm with that stuff and start making stew. Uh, I'm gonna start looking. Is there a body of water nearby our ba or nearby this town? Do you know? Uh, give me a second while I drink the goldenrod tea. I'm curing my dysentery now, so. Um. There's not a body of water uh, 
close by, but what you can do is, uh, there's those, uh, wealthy houses that have the pools in the back. That's our water source. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's one, like, uh, the closest one is to the east, so you hit to the east of the cemetery, like, directly to the east. Um, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm just working on grabbing stuff out of the chest, like, we'll, sl we'll, sl we'll do, like, a one or two more trips at, for this stuff uh, eventually, but it's, it's really no big deal, so... Things I'm actually gonna go to, uh, I'm actually gonna grab the workbench. And. Crap being hunted again. Where's the zombie? There it is. Yeah, apparently, the zombie keeps loving to go, oh, spin around and walk through my. New body, so I can't hit it. Huh? Is it like is it like a crawler like doing three sixties? No, it's just a normal zombie. So I kept spinning and trying to grab it. <laughs> Not fun. I was going. <laughs> you spit me right around, baby, right, right. Around. And it was a female zombie too, so. <laughs> Make a, we're making a, we're making a, a parody of a, you spit me right around, baby, right around. It's gonna be called the, you spit me right around, zombie, right round. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem wrong, but uh. Yeah, at the base we do need a cooking pot. Well, it's a good thing I only just left the hit the base because I'm like, oh la 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 la. Oh, I should grab some cooking pots. Here, else we won't be able to boil that water. I I already boiled it down, so. Well, yeah, I, I already... know, but uh, for the future. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, guys, I'll uh, I'll be uh, back with you once I've gone back over to town. Uh, so we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> okay, guys, the most I'm useless back. item in the game. All right, guys, I'm coming back up on on this town here. Uh, I did accidentally destroy the forge. I don't know if I cut that before I cut it but uh I actually destroyed it and I did go back to the forge house over uh to grab a forge uh, so we don't have to spend uh, the resources to do that even though I already have plenty of leather on me yeah I was just telling uh things like you yeah, have uh in case you haven't seen like you know the video from Sparta 85 about uh Paxis it's like yeah, I was telling things unfortunately uh the like he said that like after asking the phone pimps uh, the phone pimps don't have any plans to allow modding on the new console version of uh, seven days so it's un it's unfortunate and you know I was gonna say something else to things you know, but I figured you know, wait till I get back into town for you guys to you know that way you can hear it too and it's one of those I think I might have uh, Expressed this before in a previous video, like, uh, but, uh, um, to me, it's like I've said it in the main Seven Days Discord server uh, as a suggestion, like, you know, to me, it's like, uh, I don't think it's necessarily a horrible idea, but it's like, uh, to me, it's like. It, and I know it's a, it very well could be because of uh, like Sony and their uh, Sony or Microsoft, uh, you know, not wanting to do it. It's like it's understandable. It's not, you know, but uh, to me, it's like it, one thing I could, I would ask the fun pimps to do, you know, like if they were willing to do it, you know, it would be get with like uh, um, so the. Some of the mod creators that do like the big overhaul mods, like uh, 
Fang, I don't know if you know of any of the, like, the big overhaul mods on, like, uh, Seven Days. Nope, like... don't know any, so. There's several big overhaul mods, like, uh, you know, if you, if you guys watch PC version, and, uh, there's, uh, you know, like, you know, like, Darkness Falls, or, you know, like, Undead Legacy and all that, it's like, you know, big overhaul mods that change the game drastically, like, uh, from vanilla PC. And, like, even maybe, like, you know, smaller mods, like, uh, you know, try and, like, to me, like, the fun pimps could ask, you know, like, the, uh, the devs, uh, the mod devs for, uh, be like, hey, do you, like, you know, like, do, would you mind if we did, like, uh, a DLC, like, you know, like, as long as your version, you know, as long as your, um, your, your uh, mod is, like, you know, really ironed out in terms of bugs, you know, like, it's not gonna cause, like, severe issues on it, like, you know, maybe somehow, some way, like, uh, the fun pimps could do, like, you know, add the, uh, you know, allow us to have access to those bigger overhauls, like, uh, as, like, DLC. I know it's kind of a taboo thing, like, paid, you know, like, paid mods, but it's, like, you know, to me, that's just one of those, um... It's like, it would suck to have to pay for them, but it's like, to me, that's like really the only way I could possibly see it if the Fun Pimps wanted to do that stuff. What are your thoughts on it, Fang? Yeah, um, I, it's more of a, if they do it or not, it won't really affect me if they don't, because I'm already used to playing games without mods. But I do know that when games don't allow mods, it usually ends up killing the game, because... After a while, people have completed everything so many times that you can only complete something X many times before it gets boring. Yeah. Which is why Skyrim's still able to have fun, because you can just throw as many mods go, what will this do? Ooh, that. Constantly. Even Fallout 4 has uh, has that mod ability, too. It's like, on, at least on Xbox. It's like, you know... It, Fallout 4, I know, on a... on a... uh... PlayStation... Crap, is... I just did parkour. Fallout 4 on PlayStation version is a lot more limited. But... Yeah. It, it's one of those, I'm just kind of like... You know, I see... It, to me, it's like... I'm definitely in that boat, too. I'm like... It would be nice if, like, you know, the fun pips could at least work into, like, you know... You know, it's like... It's their game. It, I get it. At the end of the day, it's like, you know... But it would be nice if they could at least, you know... If they at least released, like, a... A mod manager, you know, something like a dedicated mod manager that would work with PC and console. It's just kind of... Because like you said, Fangs, it's like... Uh, if you don't allow access to mods, it's like... Uh, it's kind of one of those, it's like... It, it it winds up hurting the game in the in the end. It's like, uh, it's, it's like mods add replayability to the game. I right, got some water being cracked made, so that will work. I'm starting to, uh, I'm punching out some plant fibers, uh, and I'm getting ready to, uh, I want to make a base yeah. over in the northeastern corner of town. That's a nice, uh, flat little pot, a plot of land. Um, just gotta clear out the local zombies. <laughs> They're at the local population. Yeah, we don't need we don't need the nosy neighbors uh, coming over. Mm -hmm. Um, how big of like a of a starting building building do you want for a, a base, Fangs? I'm kind of where I have mine at right now with this tiny shack. It's actually really defendable. So. Well, I'm building like a, you know, like, kind of like a, I'm starting, I'm starting like a custom base, so. As if the zombies will get, get their corpses out of, uh, out of my face. Time to make a new bow, because mine's getting low. My hunting knife broke. Dang, that's gotta suck. Yeah, because I don't have the, uh, I don't have the... Hunting knife schematic, but it's not. It's really not that big of a deal. I got bones you have a on bone me. Knife? 
I got bones to make a bone shove. Them bones what, tier are... the, what tier can you make your weapons right now? 209. Uh, I'm at what? 241. You know, maybe you should hand me a whole like uh, you know, maybe you should go get your stack of five thousand. That way I can make a make a ton of arrows, uh, so I can since I'm supposed to be the weapon guy. <laughs> I think I should beat me the tool guy with how fast I'm leveling up weapons. Oh hey, speak of the devil on the hunting knife. I, f I just found the hunting knife book off a zombie. Nice. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> the, I game, I, the game's I, like I want the hunting knife command because that's like my favorite thing, to, thing for just weapons. Because I I I only use the basic. I I hate the guns in this version. Yeah, because of the dead zones and all that stuff. Not just uh, that, the iron sights look terrible. Oh, the, some of the guns, like the nine mm pistol, uh, the uh, they. They take the front sight post and then they just, they just kind of give it a, uh, they just stick it up really far and it's like, it's just kind of like, what the hell is this iron sight? Like, it's just literally yeah. like a, it's literally just a metal post. Well, dang, I just headshot. Oh, I can two-shot fatsos with headshots. Interesting. Alright, starting to break grounds here. So what other games do you like to play in your spare time when it's not seven days? Uh, usually I play a lot of Helldiver, Call of Duty. I've been playing seven days a lot, but Subnautica, Skyrim, a few others. Which Call of Duty? Uh, the current one, which is just called Call of Duty. Oh, the M MW3 variant. Ah, uh, yes, Dollar Store MW3. Basically, I only play it mainly because they actually have some nice movement in there. The only thing I really played in that for uh, uh, was just zombies, just to grind out Borealis camo. Mm. Such a pretty camo, but I'm like. Once I once I did everything, like all the main story stuff and everything, I'm just like, holy crap, that game mode is dead. Yeah, all of the e games are really starting to die. Like the AAA companies are been terrible. I've heard I've heard Hell Divers Two is really good. It's beyond good. Yeah, it's like uh, I'm like, eh. In. And it's even funnier because it's made by a small team and it's outperforming the indie, indie game developers. Which I makes thought, it. I thought it was an indie game. No, I mean it's outperforming the AAA A games like Call of Duty and all that by multiple times. Ah, okay. It's not. It's probably going to be game of the year. Yeah, most unless likely. Some shenanigans are pulled. I wouldn't be the, surprised by it. And the best part about it is, is the game doesn't really make you need to use in-game purchases to get what you want. Like, you can get the actual purchasable coins for free if you work hard enough. Oh, that's really nice. Mm-hmm. They're easy to get, and you get a few from the free a, a war bond, which is basically a battle pass, but not using levels. Ah, uh, okay. Like, how does it work? Is it just kind of... Um, basically there are missions that you do on each plan. Those give a certain amount of war bonds. You can then use those war bonds to get the actual stuff from the page, the pages for the war bond, for the battle pass as it is. Mm-hmm. That just gives it. And it and the super credits, which is what's used to unlock uh, the other battle passes, you can get at um. There's many POIs on the map, and there's usually about twenty to thirty many POIs that you can find, and with those, they have a chance to spawn something that has the chance to have the 
uh, super credits which spawn in between 10 and 20 per. So on a good evening you can get enough to get both battle passes if you grind it. So. Oh nice. That... Yeah, it's really good considering they don't beg for money. And the game's only 40 bucks compared to the $70 Call of Duty in recent games. Yeah, it's like uh, Activision on Call of Duty. They've been real scumbags. It's like... Uh, suppose... and it's, it's mainly just Activision messing up because the company that's doing a lot of the developing, they're saying no to no Activision for developing it because they're being forced to make shitty games. Mm-hmm. It's so kind of... Part. For me, it's just kind of like... Uh, it's like being a long-time Call of Duty fan, like starting a world at war for me. It's like... Uh, yeah, World of War is a beloved game uh, to me, and it's just kind of is it. It's just so sad to see how far from grace the series has fallen. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like, like my favorite was Black Ops Three, and that was a good one for just uh, zombies, and the multiplayer was all right. But... Yeah, it's like a. Uh, I was playing some Black Ops 3 uh, Zombies uh, recently, like, just kind of playing uh, um, Origins, that's what it is. I'm like, man, what uh, what, uh, what map was I playing? It's what like, happened? What happened to Call of Duty, right? Yep, what happened to it? They got obsessed with cash. Ooh, first aid schematic. They had... Greed is what took over. Like most companies now, they, they went, oh, people are going to buy because we're a big company now. Let's just rely on our title. Yeah, it's just kind of like, oh, lovely. It's like, uh, I don't usually like uh, quoting the Bible because, like, uh, I am Christian, but I don't push it onto people. But uh, it's one of those, it's like, uh, my dad. You know, has you know, he modified a verse from the Bible where it's like it says, uh, uh, oh, I can't remember the exact uh, verse uh, right now, but uh, it's like it goes it's like, uh, the love of money is uh, the root of all evil. It's like, or something like that. It's like, uh, and we just say like, money is the root of all evil. It's like, uh. It's like no, it. the actual verse I know this bit is the I want the money itself is not the evil part. It's the lust for money that is the evil part. That's what it is. Yeah, it's just kind of what I was I'm like. It's kind of was if I get this if I get my YouTube channel monetized, you know, to the point where it's like, uh, you know, those of you who may not be aware of the YouTube side of things, it's like I do need. Uh, uh, 500, 500 subscribers and then 3,000 hours of watch time to start, like, uh, being able to have memberships on the channel and then, like, also merchandise and, like, super things. And then it's Falling like... nurse, that's first. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> and then it's like, uh, if I hit, like, a thousand subscribers and I get 4,000 watch hours of time on my channel, it's like, then I can start earning ad revenue, but as I'm saying, is uh... The, uh, um, it's like, if I start monetizing my channel, it's like, I, I do not intend on, uh, I don't want to push it too greedy. I'm like, you know, try to push, uh, you know, like, and I won't, like, be absolutely in people's faces about it. I'm just kind of like, I want to do, like, uh, you know, like, reasonably priced memberships and then, you know, like, uh, you know, and like, you know, and I want to try to provide, uh, I'm one of those people who's, uh, I want you to get quality for your money. It's like, and that's something that's really kind of been lost uh, in these times. A lot of, a lot of companies push out a lot of, uh, a lot of junk, uh, and they expect you to pay like a million dollars for it. And I'm just but it's like... also due to effect with inflation that also adds a, adds a substantial amount to that. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I just had a zombie come up on me while I was placing frames, and I think I got an invisible wood frame. Done. Like, the collision's still there, but, uh... 
but it's like, uh... Thanks, zombie, I just took you down with my shovel. Damn, that's kind of pathetic. Well, it was an iron shovel. Still, a shovel. Okay, yep, the, the Glocks, the, the, the Pox are being glitchy. Yeah, it was... Well, uh, I'll say this, if you find the Magnum Smack, I have two parts for the 44. What parts do you have? Uh, I have the parts and the frame. Oh, it's night. I'm getting back to base. I'm meanwhile, I'm, it. meanwhile, I'm just building uh, out here in the middle of the night. <laughs> I'm doing fade out there, aren't? I'm usually pretty calm. There's no zombies around me. Well, there's one, but yeah, he's uh, he's just minding his own business. For now, until he smells you. Well, I don't have any meat on me, so. Yeah, the, guys, that's gonna be about it for today's episode. So. If you made this far, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all take care.